What is single sign-on, and what does it mean for you as a faculty member, staff member, or student here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University? Single sign-on, also referred to commonly and abbreviated as SSO, is a user authentication service that permits a user to use a single set of login credentials to access multiple systems. With the way the single sign-on systems at Southeastern are set up, your login credentials would consist of your email address and your password. And as an important note, passwords on Southeastern single sign-on systems must be at least eight characters in length and have three of the following four character type requirements. Uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number, and a symbol. In addition, passwords cannot include either your first or last name. Here is a list of single sign-on systems that you are likely to utilize as a faculty member, staff member, or a student here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Computer logon. This can be either the computer in your faculty or, or staff office, or in a computer lab if you are a student. Email. Southeastern utilizes the Microsoft Office 365 hosted solution for faculty, staff, and the student email. Email can be accessed by navigating to portal.office.com and logging in with your single sign-on credentials. Blackboard. Blackboard can be linked by navigating to the current students page on the Southeastern website and clicking the Blackboard link, or you can simply enter in blackboard.se.edu into your browser URL bar myse.edu. The myse.edu portal can be accessed by navigating to my.se.edu and logging in with your single sign-on credentials. LinkedIn Learning, Colleague Self-Service, Colleague Web Advisor, as well as the Henry G. Bennett Memorial Library Proxy Server. And this list of single sign-on systems is growing. Look for additional single sign-on systems added in the future. What are my single sign-on account details? We will briefly talk about this as it pertains to the following three categories. First, students enrolled at Southeastern prior to the fall 2020 semester. Because the university is in a transition from a legacy ERP software system to a new modern ERP system, there are some differences depending on when your first semester of enrollment is here at Southeastern. We will discuss this with the next slide. Second, we will discuss the single sign-on account details for students whose first semester of enrollment will be the fall 2020 semester or beyond. And third, we will talk about the single sign-on account details for newly hired faculty and staff. Let's proceed. Okay, let's talk about students who have been enrolled and have taken courses prior to the fall 2020 semester. Students who have been enrolled and have taken courses at Southeastern prior to the fall 2020 semester will exist in Campus Connect. To find your single sign-on account details, simply log into Campus Connect and browse to your demographics page. Your account details will be listed there. Campus Connect is not a single sign-on system, so you can log into Campus Connect without knowing your single sign-on account details. You will simply log in using your student ID, or you can use your social security number if you do not know your student ID. Your password will initially be your eight digit birth date. However, if you've changed that password and no longer remember it, you will need to contact the registrar's office to have that password reset. Let me demonstrate how to log into Campus Connect. Okay, I'm on SE's website here, and I'm gonna wanna go ahead and go to the top here where current students is at, that tab, and click on that. And then it's gonna open up a, uh, a new web page here with all the various resources offered to uh, the students and you're going to be looking for the one labeled Campus Connect right there on the top right. So we're going to go ahead and click on that real quick. And it should open up a, a web page and this is where you're going to want to put in your, uh, your student ID for your username or you can also use your social security in that spot. And then for your password by default you're going to want to use your um, eight digit birthday again, unless it's been reset. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And it may prompt you a, a few uh, pop-ups before you fully log in, and you can go ahead and skip those for now. And then it should bring up the, the first login dialog box with uh, all of your student account information. Okay. Now that we've demonstrated how students enrolled prior to the fall 2020 semester access their single sign-on account details, 
Let's talk about students whose first semester is not until the fall 2020 semester or beyond. If the fall 2020 semester or a subsequent semester is to be your first as an enrolled student here at Southeastern, you will have received your single sign-on account information as part of an admissions packet sent via email to your personal email address. In addition, the admissions and recruitment office will also have mailed a copy of the admissions packet to your current address. Though you may already have this information, let's take a moment to talk about the format you should expect your account credentials to be. Okay, below we have listed the format of your email address as well as your initial password. Your email address will be your first initial, then your last name, followed by the final two digits of your student ID, at student.sc.edu. Your initial account password will be your first initial capitalized, your last initial capitalized, followed by your six digit birth date and an exclamation point at the end. For example, a student named John Smith who was born August 4, 2001 and who has a student ID of 0065123 would have the following account details. John's email address would be jsmith23 at student.sc.edu. As you will note, it is made up of John's first, then his last name, followed by the final two digits of his student ID, which are 23. John's password would be capital J, capital S, 080401, with an exclamation point at the end. Before John can use these account credentials to log into the single sign-on systems mentioned earlier in this video, he must first reset his password. John will do this by navigating to portal.office.com and logging in by using his temporary account credentials. I refer to them as temporary because John will be required to change his password the first time he logs in. Let's look at an example of another student account logging in for the first time and resetting the password. Okay, so I'm on my desktop now and I'm going to go ahead and open up a Google Chrome web page here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the top URL bar and type in portal.office.com. And this should prompt me, and I'm going to go ahead and click Use Another Account. And I'll put in my uh, email address here, provided here, whether it's student or faculty and staff. And then I'll press Enter on that. And then you can go ahead and click on the Work or School Account there. And then it'll bring us to our main portal page here. And you want to go ahead and uh, type in, it, it may already have your email address pre-filled out, but go ahead and type in your uh, password there too as well, to your email address. And then after that's done, go ahead and click sign in. And if you if it's your first time logging in, it may prompt you for a password reset here. So you'll go ahead and type in your old password first, and then you'll have to confirm your new password twice after that. So I'll go ahead and do that, submit that. And then you'll go ahead and type in your new password again one more time after after you've changed it. So let me go ahead and type this in here. And then there it goes. It's loaded me straight to the uh, uh, kind of main homepage of Office 365. Okay, now let's move on to single sign-on account details for faculty and staff here at Southeastern. As a newly hired faculty or staff member, your single sign-on account will be automatically created during the hiring process. You will utilize this account to log in to your office computer, access your email, or log into any of the single sign-on systems mentioned earlier in this video. Your account details will look like the following. First, initial, followed by your last name, at sc.edu. Your initial password will be your first initial capitalized, your last initial capitalized, followed by your six-digit birth date and an exclamation point at the end. And here we have an example of a newly hired staff member named Joyce Smith, and Joyce was born on March 22, 1977. Joyce's username is jsmith, which makes her email address jsmith at sc.edu. Because Joyce was born March 22, 1977, her initial password is capital J, capital S, 032277, exclamation point. Joyce will be prompted to change her password the first time she logs in. Well, that just about covers the single sign-on accounts information that you will need to know. To end the video, I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of where you can go to access links to the various single sign-on accounts. Okay, so I'm on our main website here, and if you go to the top, to faculty and staff, that's going to pull up the list of uh, 
single sign-on resources um, available to faculty and staff. And then you can also go to um, current students, the same spot right up there right beside faculty and staff. And that's all the resources that are going to be available for um, any current students as well. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash SE Thank you.